How is money created? Suppose that a depositor goes to a bank and deposits $100. First, the bank will set aside the reserve requirement amount, 15% for example, which will be $15. Then, the bank will use the remaining $85 to loan out to economic agents with liquidity deficits. This loan taken by the borrower will result in the same $85 being spent. These dollars will eventually make their way back to the bank in the form of another deposit. Again, the bank sets aside 15% of this deposit as reserve requirement, which is $12.75, and is able to loan out the remaining amount which is equal to $72.25. The process continues until no more funds can be lent or deposited. The total amount of money created from this process is the sum of all deposits available in the banking system and is equal to the initial deposit multiplied by 1 over the reserve requirement or what is known as the money multiplier. In our example, the money multiplier is 1 divided by 0.15, which is equal to 6.67, so the total money created is $100 divided by 0.15, which is equal to $667. It is worth noting that the initial deposit of $100 plays an important role in the economic cycle, it is considered a driver for the creation of the $667. Also note that the smaller the reserve requirement, the greater the money multiplier effect. Find the full introduction to money video on www.cognivisio.com.